Hey guys, BJ Kitzel with SB Nation and Arrowhead Pride coming to you with a video breaking down the four most likely candidates for the Chiefs starting quarterback position next season. Uh, the first guy we're going to talk about is Michael Vick. Uh, obviously the former number one overall pick by the Atlanta Falcons back in 2001 has a history with new Chiefs coach Andy Reid. Reid signed Vic back in 2009 in what was a very controversial decision as Vic had just uh, come off a 21 month prison sentence from his federal dog, case, uh, dog fighting charge. Um, he ended up being the 2010 NFL Comeback Player of the Year as the Philadelphia Eagles won the NFC East that season. Um, obviously, he struggled this past season in 2012, completing just 58% of his passes with 12 touchdowns to just 10 interceptions, uh, and then even threw in 11 fumbles. So obviously, turnovers were, were an issue for Vic this past season, and it's not going to be something Chiefs fans want to hear because that was one of the things that was a huge deal for Chiefs quarterbacks between Matt Castle and Brady Quinn this past season. Uh, Vic is currently under contract, but he's due $15.5 million from the Eagles next season, uh, but only $3 million if he's cut. I think all indications are there are that he's going to be cut and going to be finding a new place to play next season. I think with his ties to Andy Reid, Kansas City has to be in the conversation as far as places Vic might play. Uh, the next guy we're going to talk about is uh, Alex Smith. Another former number one overall pick from the San Francisco 49ers back in 2005. Uh, lost his starting job this season to Colin Kaepernick. Despite putting up solid numbers, he had been completing 70% of his passes with 13 touchdowns to just five interceptions. So obviously good numbers from, uh, from Smith, but it wasn't enough uh, for him to keep his starting job. Over the last two seasons, uh, Alex Smith has thrown 30 touchdowns to just 10 interceptions while completing 64% of his passes. He would be a solid veteran stopgap for the Chiefs should they draft somebody, and I, I think all intents and purposes, they're going to draft a quarterback this season or this upcoming draft at some point. And Alex Smith would be the perfect bridge to that new quarterback in case they feel like the, the rookie quarterback can't start right away or shouldn't start right away. I think Alex Smith, of these four guys, is probably your most likely scenario as far as who's going to be starting for the Chiefs next season. But that being said, there are a lot of other teams around the NFL that are going to be looking for quarterbacks this offseason, and Alex Smith is going to be a popular name for, uh, for people. The next guy that is the first of the two college quarterbacks, and that's Tyler Wilson, the two-year starter at Arkansas. Actually, wrote a post earlier today on Arrowhead Pride, uh, giving my case for Tyler Wilson to be the Chiefs' quarterback and the number one overall pick uh, in this upcoming draft. Um, over the last two seasons, when he was a starter at Arkansas, completed 63% of his passes, threw 45 touchdowns to just 19 interceptions. He is projected as a first-round pick and has got to be in the mix for the Chiefs as far as their starting quarterback next season. The other college quarterback would be Geno Smith, three-year starter at West Virginia. Uh, over those three seasons, completed 68% of his passes with 97 touchdowns to just 20 interceptions. He's a projected first-round pick, and I would say if there was a consensus, and not everybody agrees, but I would say that Geno Smith right now, if you had to pull everybody, would be what well, people would be considering the top quarterback in this draft, although, like I said, not everybody agrees on that. Uh, but I would say of these four guys, I think you'll find your starting quarterback for the Chiefs next season. Uh, let me know if you disagree with me, but I would say right now these are your four most likely candidates. For Arrowhead Pride and SB Nation, I'm BJ Kissel.